What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. And if you didn't know already, it's Bear Jackson week. And that means there are some serious car buyers in town. But for a collection like, oh my gosh. Right on cue. I was gonna say, for a collection like mine, you need a very specific buyer. And it just so happens that buyer is here now. Welcome to the JR Garage. Good to see you. Finally, you've come. Um, That's a horn, huh? That is quite the horn and that is quite the hoopty. This has got Tyler Hoover written all over it, but. with 100,000 miles on it. What could go wrong? Yeah, I shouldn't be calling that a hoopty when we have all these in the garage. You're just the person I wanted to see. I've been trying to bait you to my garage to possibly sell you another hoopty. Or maybe a plane. Do you want a plane? I have all the planes parked out here for you. We could go plane shopping if you want. Or are we just sticking to the car shopping yeah, today? I like cars, yeah. I okay, don't know okay. That. So I, I know you tend to buy similar cars oh. as me. So yes. I'm thinking we can maybe check out some of the cars in the garage. You know, maybe we okay. can work a trade deal. A bunch of my cars for the Maybach. Uh, 62, is it? 62 with the partition, yes. So it's the one that I fit in nicely. You actually, yes. Not in the front, okay. though, because of the uh, partition, actually. It says the partition. It doesn't allow you to move it back any further. What? Yeah. So up front, you got to be a, a little mm -hmm. shorter. Yep. But in the back, you can be as tall as you want. You could be a eight foot giant back here and be all right. Wow. Okay. I got to see what we're working with to see how much of a you know store credit I'm going to give you for some of our cars. You know. <laughs> You're awfully presumptuous. You might. <clears throat> you must think I buy cars all the time. Oh, uh, I, I wonder why I would do that. Money. Chives, can you please extend my seat? Oh. Look at all these buttons. You have so much control. Look at look at all this, these buttons. Yeah, the window shades. Oh, wow, look at that. Privacy. Wow. The uh, electrochromatic roof that goes translucent, transparent. How, how, how do I hit that? Which, which one? Yeah, the car has to be on, but it doesn't really show oh, on okay. camera very well. Does it take a bunch of power to do it? That's why uh, the car has yeah, to Yeah, well, that's why it has a 600 amp alternator that's seven grand if it goes out. Oh, yeah. good lordy. And, and this goes up? Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. This what? <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to give you a call here on the intercom. No way. Call me on the intercom. What button? You're kidding. Hello. No way. Yeah. That's the most useless thing that's absolutely needed that I've ever seen. It's amazing. And actually, if you hit the button, I don't have the option to answer. I have to answer cuz I'm the driver. You're the owner of the car. If I hit the button. Wow. Now I don't need to listen to you. I thought I could just invade you again. When backseat driving gauges. That is so cool. Okay, some of these things are probably very not necessary and completely over the top, but I love it. That's how much was this car? New? Forty grand. Oh, it's about four hundred and fifty grand. I paid. Oh, I like 40, the first 40. number a lot better. Forty grand. Four. Yeah. Wait, four fifty new. Yeah. What's that adjusted for inflation? <laughs> now, oh, after the past couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't know what this is. But it, it's a flip phone. Is that this is what you had in high school? Uh, no, I had the, the brick, Nokia brick. The brick. Yes. All right, well, I love this. Um, I'll calculate an offer, and then maybe I'll just give you an offer you can't refuse. We could do a little hoopty trade. You got a Nintendo 64 with the what? RCA plugs? Wow, that was my early childhood with the GameCube. Uh -huh. There we go. Yep. Champagne. We go in there, the glasses and things. Oh, my goodness. And the fridge. Fr what doesn't this have? And oh, you're up. really selling me now. Look at go. this. 40,000 bucks. What a steal. I would have bought that all day yeah, of the week. Yeah, I got Jeez. very lucky. All right, well, it's time we go check out some of my garage. I have a very similar era Mercedes. Maybe if you don't want one with all the uh, maintenance requirements, we could work a deal on the standard one. See that? That's 500 up there. That is very nice. Okay, okay. Maybe we have to go check that out. All right, let, let's, let's check out the garage. These doors actually aren't that heavy. Oh, look at this contraption. I love it. Oh, come on. I know you have a thing for messed up Bentleys. Yeah, yeah. What poot on it? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, the ceiling leaked a little bit, but oh. anyway, I just know you love those wheels. Come on. Oh my. Those are like the $12,000. Oh, four rich, man. Oh, four rich specials. Are you specials. on that Facebook group? No. Amazing. Remember. This was from your video. Guys, this is a very early sneak peek. This has not been revealed yet, but yeah. listen to very, that. Very, very that big. Big armored Denali. Yep. I saw this vehicle in his video at Bear Jackson, and we said, you know what? This is too cool. We got a bid on this thing, and well, we impulse bought it. Why do they need two batteries for the armor? I guess probably because the window motors are so powerful. Yeah, maybe that. Yep. This, this looks like somebody won the lottery in 2004. It definitely does. It might be riding on some original tires, too. It is. 2,700 original miles. Okay, okay, here we go. Come on. I feel you wanting this. It's really hot. Oh, like fire. All right, yeah, you feeling some fire back how's, there? How's the fuel? Replace. Okay, you won't good. be having the same issue. Won't burn to the ground. We can get you back in one. You can you can bring back all those memories. Stick 
95, 355, um, you know, like uh, 60 grand. That's a good deal. Does it move? Yeah. Oh. Works just fine. Oh. Or could I interest you in the V8 swap 944 turbo? <laughs> I don't know about the LT1 one. Could, just but, don't, uh... don't look what I paid because I got a hoop D steel oh. on this. Oh, that's the turbo um, body? Yes, turbo body. So turbo transaxle, turbo brakes, all beefed up, which is what you need to do for a V8 conversion. But you guys had like V8 swap 944s before you had driver's licenses, I think. <laughs> that long ago, right? Wait, that, that's so true. Yeah, before I could drive, Christian just got his license. In 2014, we bought Ellis. And uh, yeah, you were literally 16, I was 14 years old. In our first car, yeah, you were 14, I was 12 years old, 944 turbo. That was yeah. the first one. Come on, a Fisker Karma. I, everybody needs one of these. Oh, come on. I've ruined my life on so many Bentleys, but. Reset the slate. You've had problems in the past, but this one I don't think would give you problems. $27,000. See, I, I'm willing That's to wheel and deal. I know, let's do a deal. Virage, they only made this for two years. Come on, you saw Tim's video, Shmi 150. It yes. was like, wow, a Virage, you don't see these too often. Right, which was so confusing because they were making four Aston Martin coupes at the same time. Or Don't don't look up there. Hey, look look back here. We'll, we'll fix that. It's a little broken. Let me push it back for you. Yep, yeah, twin turbo, which is why it's in the like <laughs> Yeah, see those little shiny bits? Yeah, that yeah. tends to happen when you That's go boosting wild. these cars. This Rolls Royce, perfect, turnkey, ready to go. Really? Trade in the Phantom and get yourself a twin turbo V12. You can't be having a naturally aspirated V12. For 50,000 miles, it's not bad. I thought you were gonna say $50,000, I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> Clean title, like two owner car, let's smidge over 100K. Pretty good shape. You're being pretty generous here. I'm trying to work a deal. Yeah. The Mybox got so much more room though. I know, yeah, you think this has a lot, and then you go to the Mybox. Okay, okay, I gotta interest him in something. Real quick guys, before we continue, I need to extend a special thanks and shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Factor. So if you're like me, and you never seem to have the time, or perhaps the skills, to cook meals for yourself every day, then listen up. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. With 34 chef prepared weekly meal options, there's always something new to try. Enjoy meals for any time of the day with breakfast options, snacks, smoothies, and more. Start clean eating today without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor packed food delivered straight to your door. And best of all, they're ready in just two minutes with no prep work and no mess. I've been thoroughly enjoying Factor the past few weeks and I have to say their recipes are spot on. I find it so easy to grab a meal out of my fridge, pop it in the microwave, sit down with my computer in a smoothie, and enjoy editing while eating to further maximize my time. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use my promo code JRGarage50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Once again, factor75.com and use code JRGarage50 to get 50% off. Thank you Factor for supporting the channel and without further ado, back to the video. How about this? A really rare Mercedes. That's Everybody gorgeous. needs one of these. Yes. You have a appreciation oh, for the old oh, classics. Very, very much. Yes. Where'd you scare this up? This guy had it in Reno, Nevada. He moved, and I guess he was clearing out the garage, and now it's ours. And it's really rare. It's it might be the only one known. It was a factory hardtop conversion. How much? Uh, 100 and like $25,000 I think it's worth. Maybe 150, I don't know. I have no idea if that's a good deal or not. Right? It, you it's, don't even know if it's a good deal it's or not. so <laughs> weird to value. By the way, if Tyler doesn't buy any of these cars, you guys can hit my line too. They're all for sale at the right price. I'm not done, we don't deal with it. He okay. will be buying something. I, I just gotta, gotta sell, sell him into something. The black yeah. Maserati MC. Have you ever had one of these? No. Why? I've tried and it never gotten this all. Okay, how much? $37,000. Clean title. Like good condition, 36,000 miles. It's the MC, you know, oh, the, one, okay. the one with the yeah, center yeah, exit yeah, exhaust. Yeah, yeah. This right. is up your alley. I can probably afford this. Let's get rid of the Maybach and get you into a reliable Mercedes of the era. A V8, it's not turbocharged, it's dead reliable. Okay. Check this out. One owner car, clean title, clean Carfax. 58,000 miles. That's it, look at perfectly clean. My buddies, Christian and Rolando are doing a polish to it. It's looking amazing. By the time they're done, this thing will look like a brand new car. I think it's worth like 13 grand or something. Any used car with 58,000 miles these days <laughs> right. is worth that, but you get That's pretty cool. Cayenne Turbo S? You had a Cayenne Turbo. Yes, it's not ready yet. How, how was your Cayenne Turbo ownership experience? Pretty good. Actually, really solid, reliable, even with 160,000 miles on it. I bought it for 4,000 bucks, didn't need all that much. The stolen truck. Oh. The Cartel 6.0. You got the Methorati, but I got the Cartel 6.0. If this thing could talk. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to know the stories this thing could tell. Boom, welcome to garage number two, the OGGR garage. 
don't mind the clutter and all the used lab equipment. That's a new side. How new for the Xerox. Yeah, let's work you the deal on the Xerox machine. Are you sure you don't need you a? Uh, just give it to me. Yeah, if you take it out of here, you can have it for free. What about the uh, centrifuges Holy and defibrillators and? A CJ that was slightly rolled. Yeah, slightly, just just a little bit. That thing is up your alley. You need to buy something like that. Have you ever had one of those W220 twin turbo V12s? Yeah, the coupe was on Car Trek. Six thousand bucks or something. Wow. Clean title, it runs. Just, it needs a little car wizard loving. Yeah, I'm going through all that with a 96 S600 right now. You are Mr. Boxster, but before that you're Mr. 944, and then you've got the, the other one up there, the uh, turbo. 968 turbo, that thing's wicked. That's gonna wow. be a great little uh, build on the YouTube channel. It's fully built motor, forged internals, eight valve head, big turbo. That's that amazing. thing should make like 500 horsepower to the wheels is the goal. Look at the transmission on that Mercedes. Manual! Boom! Very that nice! That thing you found a few of those too. Yes. The C classes and such. Uh huh. Yes. C three hundred six speed. You gave away, didn't you? Yeah. C three hundred six speed. Gave away. You know what? If you don't start buying these cars, I'm just gonna have to give more away. There you go. Plug for free car giveaways. Totally oh, not planned. But that one is the famous eight hundred eight hundred fifty dollar V twelve Mercedes. Yes. Remember that one? That series yes. that blew up. Millions of hits. I think this was the cheapest V twelve. Ever. Boxster. Yeah. Did you see this series? We bought it from auction. The shop that totaled it said. Uh, it needed an engine. There's a hole in the engine. I'm like, oh god, this is gonna be our first ever like massive loss. And that shows up. The hole is a crack in the oil pan, and we just fixed the oil pan for 500 bucks. Wow. With a new one. I don't and then it runs. It runs perfect. I catch quite a bit of your videos. I missed that one, and I apologize. Yep. Even when I get unlucky, I still get lucky. Stop looking at the lab equipment. What? Is, yeah. What even is this? I don't, I don't know. This is your era. Just, this like I just 90s projector. Or you can have it. We'll just well, throw that in with the car deal. We're not done selling you cars. I got two more here. They have your name on them. Okay. They. A 600. They literally have your name on them. <laughs> I, I did not just put that there. I've just been there and done that with so many of these. No, no, no. Lost you, my shirt. you can always have more. Okay. This thing, so clean, seal 600, 80,000 miles, ten, like 10 grand worth of recent maintenance, um, $8,000. Like, it's a smoking deal. Yes, it is. This thing is beautiful. Did a paint correction, even though it's filthy with dust, you can right. still see it. Right, yeah, and you just bought one, so. Yeah. Two weeks too late on this one. He would have <laughs> yeah. bought this. He would have bought it. Oh, when you sell the other one, you can come get this one if I still have it. Drives nice. This is one that I drove home a thousand miles from Portland. That series got like a million views. To the last hoopty lot, and then we'll talk numbers. Right. And then I will let you go. This is the bargain corner, I think, if they're outside. You yeah. know what? You're right. These are like the half price discount deals. Uh, How about a Boxster? Uh, okay. Uh, have you even had a Boxster? Yes. I was a car dealer for a long time. I was very uh, good at it, so I had a few. But I had one on my first season of uh, car issues. Big Wang Gang. This is a factory arrow kit. This is not a 2004 MTV vibe thing. Big Wang Gang, how much? Well, we got to fix it first. But unfortunately, um, I think it might have a blown engine. So we won't talk about that one. Uh, you don't want that one. But what doesn't have a blown engine is this 45,000 mile Honda Accord. Another 944? Mm -hmm. If you weren't interested in any of the others, maybe this one. Brown, turd, you know? How much? Oh, so cheap. Like three grand for a running 944? You're gonna sell some cars from this video. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, uh, another Boxster? This we just got delivered off the truck. Um, it's seen better days. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. No, I think it was abandoned at a uh, shop. I think somebody didn't pay his bills and it was sitting there for like four or five years. And oh. then, uh, and then it, di it didn't have a key. Well, I've seen this in Shmi or your video because it's so it's so clean, low miles. I don't mind keeping that, but this, this, I mind, I mind not, yeah. Not keeping it. Anyway, it. Yeah. yes, I would love to sell this one. Oh, I just had one. I just, I just passed that turd. Yeah. Well, everybody needs another one. Clean title. Yeah. Uh, twelve, twelve thousand dollars. How many miles are on it? One thirty-five. This might be a car we never sell. Well, shoot. How's the carbon on your valves? I should say. <laughs> That's funny. You know. Wait, did you have one of these? Yeah. Which one? Uh, S6 V10. Yeah. It's on my Motor Train Car Issue show. That's right. And the young people that don't watch TV like you don't know about it. That's why I don't remember it on your YouTube. The S6 V10 was the first episode of my Motor Train show. Ah. Was one of these. And was it reliable? Did it work? It was fine. Yeah. Okay. I sold it to the Wizard actually. Really? Isn't it kind of fun? Like you get a little hint of V10. It almost sounds like a Lamborghini at times. Everybody says it's the four-door Lamborghini, which isn't really true. People think it's the LP560 motor dropped no, in this thing. No. Absolutely not. They just took the old 4.2, added two cylinders, and called it a day. Uh, no, four grand for V10? No. S6? Come on. Come on, it wants you. All right, baby Lambo, we'll get it fixed and we'll just give that one away. Don't worry. Okay. Well, that concludes the uh, collection tour, in a sense. Also, the sales tour. Which one would you I like to buy? 
We should negotiate off camera. There are some tempting hoopties here though. All right, I'm we, interested. Come on, yeah, we can work some now. He wants to keep it off camera because he's gonna insult me with such a low ball offer that he doesn't even want it on videotape. Right, I don't want you to punch me. Yes. Well guys, stay tuned to his channel. It might just be, you know, next week, I bought JR Garage's blank. You never know. And maybe if I give him a deal, he can't refuse on my box. Maybe I'll come home with it. Maybe I'll just have him leave it here instead of taking it home to Kansas. Thank you so much for the tour. Absolutely. And you are yeah, actually sort of an inspiration. Like you were YouTubing before I was. I saw what you were doing. I see somebody doing similar things to what I do, but was doing it on camera. So I started doing it, but I suck at it, obviously. Wow. That's why inspiration so to Hoobie's Garage? Yeah, because you started in what, 2017? 16, yeah. With the S600. That was the first yeah. video I ever watched with you. Early OG YouTuber Hoopty days. Yeah. Well, good seeing you. Yeah. Safe drives home to Kansas. Good luck. We'll see if, yeah, see if you make it. it. I'm gonna need it. All right, later. Girl, say that it feels right.